the thought of Black Friday, Cyber Monday kind of stressing you out, <laughs> um, keep watching and I will share five different types of sales and ways to make it not quite so daunting this holiday season. Ooh. But first, if you love enamel pins, I like talking about pins, and generally like cute stuff and pins, um, hit subscribe hit the bell, be notified every time I post a video, every Friday, and come hang out and it'll be awesome. Okay, let's go. Okay, so there's been a lot of talk about Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday, all that stuff in my Enamel Pins 101 group, both in Facebook and in our monthly coaching calls. So I thought it would be a good topic to talk about. Uh, while in the group, we're going through uh, individual specifics about what people want to do. I thought it would be a good idea to kind of give a broad overview and share a few different types of sales that you can do during that weekend. And uh, so you can pick out what works best for you. I have been doing like Black Friday sales since like 2006. <laughs> so I have a lot of experience and there are a lot of different things I've tried. And while it's different for everybody, you know, what makes one person just comfortable to do as a human <laughs> and uh, what their customers will be into, it's all very different. So I want to give you some options and let you choose for yourself what works best for you. So let's get into it. Okay, so uh, the first question I get is, is it better to do it uh, just on Black Friday, just on Small Business Saturday, just on Cyber Monday? I forget if Sunday is a thing. <laughs> There's so many now. Um, but you, there are two different things. There's a couple different things you can do. You can either pick one day and go for it and just have your sale only available during that 24 hours and, you know, get it and go and that creates a lot of really good urgency for your customers so um, you can know that one day is going to be really good and you can also choose to do it over the course of a few days so if you want to do just friday saturday or uh, friday through that monday so you have something available and then just have like a banner over top and if anyone comes by your shop uh, who wants to look for something, there will be a discount for them no matter what day they show up. So I think choosing between those two is a good way to go. I don't think either one is better than the other. It all depends on how you promote it to your audience and the type of deal that you have and just kind of your preparation, you know. So um, I think you can either pick one day or you can go the span of the weekend. And you could also just flip the script and do it during a completely different time. So you could have your quote unquote Black Friday sale, but have it the weekend before, you know, or have it the weekend after. If you want to avoid the madness completely, <laughs> then you can scoot them up or uh, back. I wouldn't scoot it back too far because then you're kind of getting into the realm of um, shipping issues. So if you want people to be able to get their stuff in time for uh, Christmas or whatever holiday they are celebrating, um, you want to, I would probably suggest doing it before. So uh, that's just another idea. I've seen some people celebrate, you know, if they have a November birthday, they'll be like, oh, I'm having a birthday sale this weekend. This is the lowest you'll ever get my stuff. These are the promos that I have, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they do it before then. Um, I do like to capitalize on the weekend because I feel like um, there will be people coming to look <laughs> for deals specifically. So I like having something for them on Black Friday, but that's just my personal preference. So whenever you choose to do it, as long as you prep your audience, as long as they know what to expect, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the different types of promos you can do. And these are all ones that I have experience with and I would recommend any of them. It all depends on your personal preference. And if you've tested any of these kinds of things with your audience, then um, you'll know what they respond best to. So the first obvious one is the percentage off. So you can have a blanket percent off for that whole day or that whole weekend, or you can do like a, um, like a minimum. So they have to spend X amount of money to um, get the discount. Quick tip for that, if you wanna go that route, I would look through your analytics and see what your average purchase is and then make that minimum requirement a little bit higher than your average purchase. 
so you're getting people to kind of grab a little bit more um, to get the discount so that's just uh, one thing you can do in terms of the discount when you're thinking of a discount do not price yourself out of it I have made these mistakes before you are a small business you are a single person I am one human being that is running my entire shop by myself you know you have to be able to pay yourself you have to be able to recoup your costs and and just everything all of your investments everything you put into it so don't make your discount too low i don't like going under 25 percent now or over 25 percent now um there yes there are big box stores that will slash things 40 50 percent we are not those places our customers know we are not those places <laughs> you know no one is gonna fault you for uh, for having a discount at all because they'll be excited that they get a little bit anyway um, if you want to discount so just be sure if you are doing a percentage discount don't go too low <laughs> um, value your work and uh, just yeah yeah don't price yourself out and then figure out which one you want to do okay the next type of discount is a tiered discount so there are two different kinds of this so the first one is you can have um, like each day the discount gets a little bit lower so say on Black Friday you want to do X percent off and that's the biggest chunk you've got then Saturday is a little bit less Sunday's a little bit less Monday's a little bit less so they have um, there's a lot of urgency to get things on Friday but they're still gonna get a percentage off no matter when they find you during the weekend so that's pretty fun you can also do a tier that has to do with the price so if they and this is something I think you really need something like Shopify and, and apps to go with it to make it a little bit easier I don't think there's an easy way to do it in Etsy unless you do like an individual discount code that only works for a certain amount um, so there have to be a lot of communication um, with this one, but it's like if you spend X amount of dollars, you get this discount. If you spend a little bit more, you get this discount and it goes up. So the more you spend, technically the more you save, but you are still getting, you know, you're getting more money the, um, the higher up they go, you know. So they're getting a discount and you're winning at the same time. Win, win. Everybody loves it. I love these on like uh, Soko Glam, I think did that last year and I was like, add more to my cart. <laughs> I was all about it. So those are the two different types of tiered discounts you can do. Okay, so another type of promo is freebies. So you can either have it set to like any purchase gets a free whatever. This can be a free seconds pin, free locking backs, free stickers, a free actual pin. <laughs> um, anything like that so you can either set it to a minimum amount and then they'll get the freeness um, or just whatever this is really great because you don't have to do any discount codes if you don't want to because you'll just know if they bought on this date they'll get you know you'll know what to put in their package so this is kind of an easier way to do it you don't have to worry about any kind of discount codes or worrying about that you just know that they are going to get the freebie so that is just a fun option to do that's a good one to do just sprinkled out through the year too if you feel like um, doing a promo of any kind and you don't want to deal with a discount or you just don't like doing discounts I know a lot of people don't do discounts at all in their shops and that's totally fine so little freebies tossed in is a good way to reward your customers still give them something fun give them incentive to come shop on Black Friday but not have to be quite so labor intensive uh, beforehand and you can just mix it up the last type is just kind of a free-for-all so maybe the first day black friday you offer your discount awesome discounts done black friday done maybe on saturday then you will offer free seconds pins um, all saturday and then maybe on sunday you'll do uh, like a mystery sticker pack or something like that so you can have fun and figure out uh, kind of which things draw in um, your customers so that's a good way to test and figure out what works or if you just want to have fun and and mix it up and do different things and kind of have a party that weekend with your people uh, that would be a lot of fun on instagram i think so um yeah you can just kind of do a free-for-all mix it up whatever you want because it's your shop 
so there's that option as well <laughs> all right so is there any one that you're kind of leaning towards is there one that like you prefer to shop with as a customer that you're like no 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 i love it when people do this that's what I'm going to do <laughs> in my shop. Let me know in the comments kind of which one you're leaning towards, which one you prefer, which one kind of makes you feel better. Because that's another thing to consider is which one stresses you out the least. <laughs> so let me know in the comments. Okay, so now you know what promo you want to do. And now it's time to get ready for said promo. So the first thing you need to make sure you have under control is your shipping make sure you have all of the like mailers all of your packaging any of your business cards whatever you put in there make sure you have it ready <laughs> um, you don't want to be left in the lurch when you have a bunch of orders come in and you're like oh man I forgot to order you know, like I ran out of envelopes and now I have to wait you know like two or three days like these are people that are gonna want their stuff now so you want to ship out as quickly as possible and you don't want to have to worry about any of that stuff. So make sure you have that ordered now. Okay, secondly, I recommend you get all of your social media posts and your emails written ahead of time. So take some time now to like write out your promo emails to your list, uh, plan out what kind of posts you want, um, actually write out the comments, have them, or write out the caption rather, and have them ready to go. So that way you are not scrambling at all during that weekend and trying to do any of that stuff. Um, when you're in the midst of it. I like to be able to be online and be available for my customers have, if they have any questions. Um, inevitably they'll come in and you just want to be able to like sit back, take care of them, watch the sales come in and not have to worry about, oh, I forgot to post today, you know. So get all of that stuff ready ahead of time. I recommend having an email that talks about what sale you're going to have. So get them ready for it. An email on the day of the sale and then um, the last day of the sale. And then um, your social media posts, post just like you normally would. I have a whole webinar all about how to grow your following. So I have lots of tips about what to post, pictures to take, uh, how to write engaging captions, captions, and um, email list stuff in there too. So be sure to check that out so you can be increasing your following before the weekend and know what to post during the weekend. So check that out and get everything ready ahead of time so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> okay, and the last thing I want you to do after Black Friday is all done, First, take note of how much you made. If you did different discounts on different days, check out how much you made so you can take note of that for next year. It's always good to be prepared and be able to compare um, year to year and then celebrate. I want you to take a minute, take a breath, be proud of yourself for surviving the weekend, for doing as well as you did because I know you're gonna do awesome and just take a minute to truly celebrate it treat yourself to something, even if it's something little, make it something special because it's going to be crazy for the rest of, you know, at least through the last shipping day in December. So take a minute to just take a breath and be excited for what you've accomplished and then get back to work. <laughs> Okay, so now you have five different types of promos to choose from when considering what to do for Black Friday, and you've got some ideas of what you need to do to prepare for that. Um, I definitely think you should do what feels good, do what feels right for you and your shop and your audience. Everyone is different. Um, do not compare yourself to anyone else and what they're doing. Um, there's enough to stress out about during the holidays, so don't make this one of those things. Prepare ahead of time make your decisions and execute. You can do this. Um, I've also got a planner that you can download below and you can kind of get stuff on a calendar to plan out what you need to prepare ahead of time and then kind of write out what you want to do for the weekend uh, just so you can be prepared ahead of time because that's what I love doing. I, I don't ever like to leave things um, to the last minute and stress about it because there's no need for that. You can take care of it now and feel confident in your decisions now and then let it go and then reap the rewards and it'll be awesome. You're going to do so good. So check out that webinar about growing your following. Um, 
it's really good and you can get a lot of good advice about um, Instagram and email lists before the holidays and you can utilize it during and check out the printable planner so you can get it all on the calendar and feel confident in your Black Friday. So yay, have a wonderful Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. And give me in the comments um, Christmas emojis <laughs> because I'm Christmas crazy and it'll just make me happy. So if this was helpful, please share it with a friend, share it with a pin maker friend or really anyone uh, you know who runs an e-commerce business or is an independent artist. It's, these are things that can work for everyone. It's not necessarily pin specific. So share it with your friends, share it on Instagram and uh, give me an emoji, a Christmas emoji below if this was helpful. So, all right, thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.